Hey you guys, I obviously was not planning on recording today as you can probably tell, but there has been some news concerning the Xavier Harrelson case and I received that news because someone commented on my Xavier Harrelson video with the link letting me know what was going on. Yes, thank you for that. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you all. Totally impromptu video but I'm just going to read from the news site. Um, I will link it below if you all want to go check that out for yourself. And uh, let me find it real quick. I just had it. Okay, this is on the KWWL7 News. And if you all don't know the story of Molly Tibbetts, which I'm sure you do. I'm sure everyone's heard of it. I have not covered her case, but I'll give you a quick recap in case you don't know about her case. Um, Molly was a 20-year-old girl who went out jogging near her home in Brooklyn, Iowa, and she never came home. And uh, her body was found on August 21st after a man named Christian Bahena Rivera was questioned by police after his vehicle was seen on surveillance footage and he was seen actually following Molly. So once he was questioned, he uh, led them to her body and that was, I don't know if I said it, it was on August 21st of 2018. She disappeared July 18th of 2018. Her body was sadly found on August 21st of 2018. So this guy's been in court and something came up and was released today. That's what I'm going to read to you. Sorry, I completely started this video off on the wrong fit already, but here we go. Okay, like I said, this is KWWL News 7. Bahena Rivera sentence delayed after twist in case new motion connects to Xavier, Xavier Harrelson. I'm sorry, I'm tongue-tied today. Christian Bahena Rivera's sentencing for the 2018 killing of Molly Tibbetts will be delayed after the defense has requested a new hearing and the court will, will review more evidence. Bahena Rivera was scheduled to be sentenced to life in pres prison on Thursday at 9.30 a.m. after being convicted of first-degree murder back in May. Judge Joel Yates issued an order Wednesday saying the sentencing would be delayed until after he holds hearings on whether to grant the defense's request to compel prosecutors to release information about other suspects and for a new trial. Defense lawyers recently filed the motion bringing forward evidence to support claims that Bahena Rivera was framed, saying an inmate admitted to killing Molly. The documents identify a new witness, an inmate who testified that another incarcerated individual, inmate number two, was part of a duo that killed Tibbetts under the orders of a 50-year-old male involved in the uh, ST trade. I'm not going to say it. You know what it stands for. Um, Bahena Rivera admitted to placing Tibbetts' body in a cornfield and covering it with stalks but testified that two masked men were to blame for her murder. New documents identify that 50-year-old, new documents identify that 50-year-old as James Manuel Lowe and claimed that he was operating an ST ring out of a residence in New Sharon in the summer of 2018. I can't say it, guys. My little girl is right over there and she may not be paying attention or she might, I don't know, but I'm not gonna say what ST stands for. I shouldn't have to. You all know what it means. Um, so, where did I leave off? I'm so sorry. Um, he was operating an ST ring out of a residence in New Sharon in the summer of 2018. Inmate 2 said he went to a trap house owned by Lowe. Saw Tibbetts bound and gagged and admitted to killing her. Oh, I hope she's not listening right now. She's not. And a sub... Supplemental motion for new trial defense is arguing that Lowe is connected to at least 10 other missing children from Powasheet County or nearby counties, most recently the disappearance of Xavier Harrelson. Bahina Rivera's attorneys claimed that Lowe had a relationship with Xavier's mother, Sarah Harrelson, and they lived together for a period of time. They say that through, the, through an investigation, Lowe may have been one of the last people to see Xavier. 
It's very interesting. The defense is claiming that the prosecution's failure to turn over reports involving trap houses and kidnappings is a due process violation. So, I don't know what to think about this, you guys. I have a lot of questions about this low guy. Um, I want to know if he was around Xavier often and how do they know he may have been the last people to see Xavier? I know police have never released, you know, who was the last person to see Xavier. You know, they just said he was seen around 11 something the morning that he disappeared. And, you know, I posted the interview that uh, Leave It to Bieber did with his mom. Uh, but in that video, you know, Sarah said that she was the last person, or we think, you know, she's the last person to see Xavier. I guess I shouldn't put words in her mouth, you know, but she talked about what happened that morning. So I just, I really want to know where this low guy comes into play. And do you all believe it? Do you believe, you know, what Rivera is saying? I don't know. This is just really, really odd. And I have so many more questions that, that haven't been released, I guess. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I just wanted to share this news with you all. I've had a couple people messaging me saying, do an Xavier update, but I I check the news every day, you guys. I check the news every day for Xavier, for Summer, for um, Alexis, and I'm constantly checking for all these kids that I've done cases on, and if there is news, if there is a valid update, I don't mean something I see, you know, on Facebook, if there is something that has been released by law enforcement, or there is something on one of the news sites, I will do an update, but I, I like to have valid sources. So I don't know, but this is this is a big deal. If this is if this is true, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I just really wanted to let you guys know what's going on. Um, again, thank you, Yaz, for sending me that link. I've been at the fair all day with my kids, so I had no idea. I was staying off of YouTube and off of the news while I was there and didn't hear about this till I got home, but. Let me know you, what you guys think, and if there's any more news that comes out, I will update you as soon as I can. I will talk to you all later. Have a good night.